Go ahead, knock her out. Check, check, check. What was your uh, impression of day one? Uh, probably about what I thought. Pretty good effort by a lot of guys. Uh, some not in shape and uh, got a handful of guys, upperclassmen, that's not the freshmen, upperclassmen that are going to be doing a little extra getting shape. You know, just don't understand what it takes to be an elite athlete. Elite athlete don't show up on August and expect to be ready to go. So we'll see what happens. What's their plan, I guess, during that downtime prior to the start of practice? Who's plan? Like the players' plan, like do you give them. Well, I hope it is to to, to, uh, to train with the rest of the guys and get in shape, ready to play Division One football. I would think if they have any, if they're thinking other anything other than that, then they're they're sorely mistaken, because everybody we play is going to do that. You know, so they've got to live and train and eat and prepare like an elite athlete. If they don't, then it shows up. It shows up first day of practice. What do you What do you look for in day one from quarterbacks? Uh, execution. You know, I could tell if they've worked on their game throughout the summer by by either the execution or the lack thereof. And I saw some today, and I saw a lack thereof is today as well. Other than the uh, in shape for some of the guys, what jumped out at you? Nothing. Other than I think we're better defensively, which I thought would be. You know, they guys are moving around a little bit, understand better. We got more competition defensively, just numbers, sheer numbers. I mean, we, it looks like we got, you know, we could line up three units and compete. So that's that's encouraging. He won't be talking to you today. Does that give you an idea what I thought of his performance? Is this typical, I guess, of a first practice for you to, to be this? You know, I've had 20 first practices as a head coach in to varying degrees. So it doesn't mean where we're going to be a week from now. It just means today some guys realize themselves. They don't have to tell them, but I do anyway. <laughs> it tells them that they've got a ways to go. So on that BJ thing, does that mean you expect more out of him? Expect more of all of our guys. And BJ is a competitive guy, so I would expect that he'll get better every day and and all that. Let's not read too much into it, but you know, I'm not. I don't. Guys would be, if I sugarcoated anything, they would think something's wrong with me. If, uh, so he competed. He's in good shape. He worked hard, but you know, the execution in the passing game should be a whole lot better, even with new wide receivers, than it was today. I'll tell, I'll tell you your thoughts on it tonight. Is there an excitement that you build for the start of this type thing? Oh, I hope there is. You know, for the, for everybody's sake, first first practice. But we have 44 new players. I think 40 of them today. Uh, so I'll make, I was anxious to see a lot of them. That, that's that's a, you know part of the excitement as well. Plus the upperclassmen and see how the seniors take hold of leadership. And got a small senior class, but I I, I think they uh, they're pretty prepared to have a good year. Was there a guy out of that 44 that you liked? No, not really. I'm not, and I'm not gonna. You know, I, I would wait a little bit, probably till pads, and you guys won't talk to any of the newcomers for probably a week or two. But uh, I'll wait till we put some pads on. But I like the freshman class. I think it's a really good class. Was it, was it nice in a general sense just to see our Zooming back out there after his knee? Oh, all the injured guys. Yeah, the guys, all the guys that missed spring, and uh, guys like Lenny and Arzeman that missed, uh, you know, most of last year. It was good to see them back and. Hopefully, you know, Pet Nottles, I think, is ahead in his rehab, so hopefully we'll get him back in a few weeks. So um, they, the guys that did rehab, I think, for the most part, all did a pretty good job this summer. But you like you like Jacob at center? Yeah, I think so. You know, he'll move around a little bit. You know, the Putton can always play there, and then we got Steven Garola, the new guy that's going to be playing uh, there as well. And I'm not as hard on the newcomers in their conditioning because they don't, you know, frankly, they don't. This is their first foray in Division One football. The upper class that aren't in the shape we expect is a little more disappointing. But I think they're conscientious guys, so they'll get it. Scroggins still working back. From yeah, he got concussion. And somehow I don't know what happened in a, in a workout. He got uh, a freak accident, got hit in the head, and didn't get cleared yet for today. Hopefully, he'll be clear tomorrow. Is there a certain time you'd like to have a starting quarterback back? Well, what time? When's what's time's the first game? <laughs> so you won't you won't narrow it down like a week before. Or? I might. I don't feel there's a need. You know, I don't feel that I have to name a guy. I mean, if we if the guy separates himself uh, before then, he'll do that. If not, at least seven o'clock on the thirtieth, whenever it is, that we'll do it. I mean, you know, it's not nothing to do with dipping any other position, in my opinion. What's the word to describe today? Yeah, coaches are never happy at any time. Coach, today, yeah, uneven. Is that a good word to describe it? I mean, some good moments, some bad moments, and everything in between. So uneven. Not discouraging, just uneven. When you as a coach, you see uh, the interceptions that happened today, do you say the defense played really well, the offense A little bit of both, really. I think we forced things a little bit, couldn't get open a little bit. And uh, and then there's also some really good plays defensively. So 
I think it was a little bit, a little bit of everything. Which is, you know, as a head coach, you don't mind seeing a little bit, uh, especially when the defense has improved. But uh, you know, offensively, if some of the execution things aren't there that you think should be there, sometimes it tells you exactly what they did or did not do over the summer. You know, again, I don't know what they did because I'm not there. So I got to judge it based on what I see the first practice. And that's a disappointment, not being prepared for today. For not being prepared to the level which I think you should. 